Ooh, welcome Transformer fans. My name is Composite Energy, and today's review is on the Transformers Legacy. I said Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Crankcase. Crankcase. There's a K in there. Crankcase. That's his name. And here he is in his vehicle mode, which give me one hot second to tell you exactly what this is. So apparently, this is based off of on. This is based off of an Land Rover 90 or off or generic off-road vehicle number 36. But yeah, this is supposedly based off of a Land Rover. Anyway, so yeah, crankcase. And here he is. Very nice, very nice vehicle mode. Very boxy, but has quite a bit of detailing here on the back, around, on the sides. Um, this is this is and I and I noticed it when I was transforming it is a heavy repaint, not repaint, a heavy retool of the legacy uh skids who was then who whose mold was repainted like two other two other times, I believe, for a cross cut, I believe, for evolution and that Walmart exclusive burnout, who I haven't done a review of. But where those two figures were basically repaints with new heads, uh, Crankcase here is actually a pretty extensive retool. Not too extensive, like the transformation's more or less the same. If anything, this guy feels easier to me. I don't know why, but it's more or less. It is different enough. They added some like extra little flourishes to make him significantly different. Not that much significant, but you get what I mean. So yeah, here he is in his vehicle mode, based off of his G1 appearance in vehicle mode, which again was a Land Rover, apparently. And yeah, so he does roll quite well, which is good. And that's about it. Let's get on with transformation. By first, let's take off this accessory, which is his blaster. There you go. And I believe this is the same one. Well, same pistol that comes with uh, skids and his repaints. Or in my case, with Burnout. I believe this is the same... Yeah, it's the same one. It has a little over... It has a little port underneath as well. So yeah, it's that same... Just in sort of this gray... Gray clear plastic thing. Oh, and if you're wondering, that pause that happened is just is that energy just kind of walked in and then walked out. <laughs> so she was kind of looking at me. So so yeah, just like, please please ignore that... that long pause while i was saying land rover so yeah and he does have one other accessory which is interesting that is unique to him so yeah let's get on with uh transformation which is pretty straightforward so first we lift up the wings the doors i mean and then you bring this assembly down like so then for the arms i believe you pull out like so, out like so, oh, and then I think you lift, you lift, hold on, yeah, you lift this up a little, you, yeah, you lift this up, and then bring it out, like so, and then you go through here, make sure you feed the head, and then, oh no, not yet, you have to separate this, hold on, there we go, separate that, and then feed fold that a bit and then feed the head through the top and then it'll clip into place and then oh before that that's why there's some extra steps between this and uh for me burnout you bring the waist forward then bring this down separate the legs uh fold in the wheels uh, let's see, oh yeah, bring these forward, the shoulders actually fold them forward, and then the back you just sort of um, eh, leave it like so, well you can have it down like this or you lift it up like so, uh, I'll explain, I'll explain the lifting up later. Because it has a little Easter, it has a little reference to his original figure. So yeah, let me just finish up. Do, 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 bring this down. And that's it. So there we have Crankcase. 
in his robot mode. No, well, not entirely. Not entirely. There's actually one extra little step if you if you can tell. This front piece, the front of the car, actually pops off to reveal his actual chest. And this right here is its, it's, its own, this is his other weapon accessory, which, even though it's the front grill of a, of a car, if you fold this down, it becomes a blaster. Yeah, this is a blaster. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, usually when I, I I'm gonna probably display him with this forward to have it be just the front of the car thing, to be a little more traditional. But this is, and I'll just put it off to the side for now, but this is the full transformation of this version of Crankcase. And also, just to explain the Easter egg, back here, you see these little blasters back here, these, like, cannons. So these cannons, you can fold them down into the, into the back here, like so. You can do that, but if you do this, you won't be able to transform them. They do impede the transformation. And they are there. They're unique to him. As far, yeah, they're unique to him. And they are just a an Easter egg. Because the original crankcase figure from the 80s had these flip-out guns that were also present. That could also be sort of um uh triggered or showed off in his um uh, vehicle mode. So yeah, so he does have it. He just so he, he still retains those those uh those cannons. But they don't, they don't, you can't really like uh, mess with them too much. Because if you fold them in, if you fold them into his backpack, it does, it, it does prevent him from transforming. So yeah, it's a cute little reference, which is nice. And yeah, so let's get on with articulation since I have them. Get the head sculpt on there, the nice orange face. Yeah, this is a little too orange for my liking. I would have liked that maybe his visor would have been a different color, but it's pretty cool. Head is on a ball joint. So arms. Arms are interesting. So they have a hinge there. So they go up and down. They go all around. They technically have an extra hinge here. So they can go in and out. There as well as a swivel there. Bend at the elbow. And a swivel on the wrist. And this is very... I don't want to say very loose. But this isn't that strong of a connection. This little chest piece. So it keeps popping off. Uh, has a waist. Legs can go... Can go... Out that far, forward, back, swivel there, bend at the knee, and an ankle, which is always appreciated. So yeah, he has pretty, pretty good articulation. So yeah, so now we get to his uh, accessories, which are his blaster, which he just holds in one hand, like so. And then you have this thing, his grill, his grill gun, which you just fold this out, and then he just holds it. And there you have it. And he has little ports here, so you can put like effect parts. So yeah, this is a blaster. So there is crankcase with his two weapons, which I'm which I'm not gonna lie. I think this is silly. If maybe they could have done something a little more with this, I I find this to be silly. So I'm just gonna put it on his chest, and I prefer this look for him. I think this is a better option for crankcase, just having the this, the traditional front of the car be his chest. And then these would be his, like, his secondary accessories are the cannons in the back. I'll give him that. It was pretty clever. It is clever, the engineering for this, but I would have preferred if they did something else. Uh, so now on to size comparisons. So here we have uh, Ratchet, Cliff Jumper, and Primal. There they are. And yeah, so Crankcase. Uh, let's see. Cranky. I think the first time I ever heard of this character, well, not this one specifically. I didn't even know there was an, an 80s version, of a, a Generation 1 version of Crankcase. I believe it was G1, but I didn't even know he was a thing. I think the first time I ever heard of Crankcase was, um, oh, I think it was during the Unicron Trilogy. Yeah, I think it was during Unicron Trilogy. There was a repaint of Red Alert, or am I thinking of Cannonball? But well, whatever, I've heard of Crankcase before, and there's also the movie version, who is one of the uh, dregs, dreads, yeah, one of the dreads, so that's like the Crankcase that I was more familiar with up until getting this one, in which you find out, hey, there's an actual 80s version of him, so yeah, Crankcase, overall a pretty solid figure, like, I'm actually impressed that they were able to 
uh, tweak the skids mold, the legacy skids mold, and actually do something a little bit different because they could have just easily repainted this and given it a different head. But no, they went the extra mile and added some extra details. Very nice. Again, I'm surprised they did it for such a relatively obscure character. But it's nice that they went the extra mile for this guy. So yeah, Crankcase. Pretty solid figure with some pretty neat little references. So yeah, uh, overall, good figure. Pretty solid. Not bad. So yeah, uh, this has been my review of the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Crankcase. This is Composite Energy signing off. Peace out and be safe.